I'm gonna get off my soapbox. I'm gonna get off my soapbox. <laughs> I'm gonna make you want more. I'm gonna be a new favorite. Hello, lovers, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cammy, and over here we're talking about all things love, relationships, and astrology. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna be talking about three reasons why you and your Aquarius just didn't work out. I'm so excited to get into this video, but first, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. It really means a lot to me. Also, meet me in the comment section below to let me know your experience with an Aquarius. I would love to communicate with you all. Also, let me know if these videos help in any type of way, like, or what you're wanting to see um, in regards to love relationships and astrology. Alrighty, let's get into it. So I'm gonna give you three reasons, like from an Aquarius perspective, and I've dated an Aquarius before. I've dated a few Aquarian men. So like, I'm kind of aware of like what we like, what we don't like. And um, I think I can give you like the top three reasons why you and your Aquarius didn't work out. All right, so number one is you were too clingy or needy. Um, Aquarians, we like our space. And we like to be with someone who has like independence because I've been in this situation before. So if you have someone in your space and in your life that's like constantly needing attention, um, it's it's pretty intense. And that's when we typically ghost because, and that's not, not to say that that's a good thing. I know that's not a good thing. Please don't like <laughs> come after me in the comment section, but like that's usually what happens. Like. If we're feeling so overwhelmed with someone always like needing our attention, our affection, like just, you know what I mean? Constantly trying to um, get, obtain our energy, like that's intense, you know? <laughs> so that's probably one reason like why you guys didn't work out because we need some alone time. We need some space. We need someone who has their own thing going. That that interests us you know that makes us more inclined to like want to reach out if you'll have if you're busy be preoccupied have things going for yourself i say that this is for an aquarius but like i think as that goes across any relationship it's really important to like have your own thing going and not solely rely on another person to like be your end all be all you know be your source of like joy or happiness or anything like that happiness should come from within it is sourced from within you should think you should be able to think on your own and make decisions without anybody else's opinion aquarians let me know what you think about that first reason because honestly i think like that's <laughs> that's one of the main reasons why you know aquarians just don't work out with another person a significant other all right so the second reason is we're not intellectually stimulated Please do not hit me with small talk. I I despise small talk. Like, what type of person do you think I am, honey? Do not hit me with surface level stuff. I don't wanna talk about the weather. I do not wanna talk about like celebrity stuff. Let me know what song you listen to when you're feeling sad. Let me know what song that motivates you. Let me know when you, what you do um, when no one's around. You know what I mean? Like, let me know who you are. <laughs> let me know something you never told anybody before, you know? like some deeper stuff because we're more than just like this surface level stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm about to get like real Aquarius right now, but like we are a soul in a human body experiencing life. Like, come on now, we literally live on a rock y'all, like in the middle of nowhere. What are we talking about? We are aliens, like, <laughs> come on. Like it should be, there should be more than just how's the weather conversations that you could think about. I will stop talking to someone if I'm not intellectually stimulated. Aquarius, let me know if you're the same way, cause honey, <laughs> I need it. Like, what? <laughs> to me, that makes me feel like, what do you fill your brain with? What do you fill your energy with that you don't have that self-awareness, you know, or, or self-preservation to, properly and effectively communicate something more than just surface level. Okay, so which brings me to the third reason. So the third reason why I feel you and Aquarius maybe didn't work out is because of lack of communication. 
communicating is so important to us. And I know that kind of contradicts like us needing alone time, but like we also need effective communication, like logical, effective communication. You know, we need to have a goal. We need to have like understanding and to be able to properly communicate that without like, you know, I know it's gonna sound like real robot, but like emotions, you know what I mean? Like we just need like effective communication. We need to have an open door policy. We need to be able to be honest, honest communication, open communication, you know, things of that sort. It's really, really important to us. Be straightforward, do not beat around the bush. Say exactly what you mean, mean what you say, and you should not have a problem. The issue is a lot of people can't, I wanna say a lot of people, see how I correct myself? Self-awareness here. Some people may have difficulties like communicating effectively for many reasons. You know, maybe you grew up in an environment where there wasn't effective communication. Maybe there, there was just yelling or conflict or things of that sort. So you never felt the need to really express yourself, you know? So there's a lot of different reasons why, or maybe when your parents like communicated with you, they were very negative. So whenever you communicate with someone, it's in a very negative light or you just don't feel the need to effectively communicate because your parents didn't effectively communicate with you. So there's a lot of reasons why, you know, like people are the way that they are. And no matter our past experience, like we have an opportunity to be our best versions. And I'm, I can truly attest to that. Like no matter what you've been through in life, like you have an opportunity to just be like, you know what, I don't accept that. I don't accept any of that narrative from the past and I'm just going to move forward with my life. And so like you have an opportunity to change who you are and like be a better version of you. You know what I mean? Don't let your past dictate your future. You create your future right here and now and being present. Okay. And so I just went on a rant, but I feel like that was spirit talking through me. So um, whoever, whoever that was for, I hope you received that with, with love and support to know that like you can change. Okay. Like you don't have to be your past. You don't have to be your parents. You don't have to be any of that. You know what I mean? You create your reality. So if you want to change, it just starts with you and your perception and, um, you know, just say your affirmations and, uh, be the best version of who you are. You're already it. You know what I mean? We're already who our higher selves. We just have to walk in it. You know what I mean? So like, anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I'm going to get off my soapbox. <laughs> I really think those are the top three reasons why um, you and an Aquarius just didn't work out. And, and sometimes it's just not meant to be with that person. It's okay. You know, whatever's for you won't pass you up. And uh, know that love is infinite. And we are infinite, so we are love, okay? I hope this video brings you peace and clarity, and I will see you all in my next video. All right, until next time, lovers.